nothing is working out you working hard you sending leaflets you promoting on web ppi ppc basically everything you doing and it's not working and it's not with us or you it is with everyone those clients want to sell their property they coming they hunting they going directly but there used to be approach you leafletting if you leafletting in thousands house you may maybe getting 1 to 3% return but now this is not the case right people are not selling why they are not selling because of the market situation uh, i'm expecting by march uh, it will be a bit better but how to win leads this moment this is a challenge and honestly speaking we as a 19 home i will say uh, we are not seeing it drop out we winning more we are performing better than last year why it is a very clear strategy the engagement there is a few points which i would mention you here basically uh, and these points are number one is your own skill your own communication how outspoken you are how much you know about the industry right if i was you i wouldn't be telling anyone guys look i'm a street agent i can sell your property no uh, go not those days right there's lots of street agents what is unique about you what unique uh, you know service or skill set you have got now if i was if i was you i would say guys look i'm giving you some stats i'm giving you some data right just i'm not saying copy and paste but right move is giving you or jupla is giving you or on the market is giving you all the data if you don't have data ask the our data team they will ha ha happy to help you uh, what data you need uh, you need you need market stats what is happening for example if i ask you uh, basically tejal which area you lives where do you live uh, i'm in east london ilford in ilford yeah? yeah perfect now if uh, what i will be looking my area is ilford i know i have to target ilford i'm not telling people guys come give me the business i will sell let or manage or auction your property no i am telling what is happening in ilford in property market i am the giving you inside information right but same time my profile whether it's linkedin whether it's facebook uh, i'm not going on twitter uh, instagram is another unique thing which i will cover later on but these are the two things you telling people <coughs> in ilford there is a lots of group in ilford you know Uh, Ilford, like I live in Wellington. Let me share my screen quickly with you guys. I live in Wellington. Around forty-three k people are uh, part of this group, Wellington Surrey. Now looking for a, a man in van possible. you know everything you can post basically so this is a group where if you are in ilford i'm pretty much sure there is number of groups not one group number of groups at least 5 10 groups if i'll search wellington here i have six or seven group and the smallest group got around 5000 people right what i'm doing is i'm sharing the insight what is happening in wellington now what insights i'm sharing here i'm sharing what is happening the busiest street wellington right the highest property uh, sold in property pro uh, in wellington you don't need to tell who which agent sold but this is the highest property sold right so you giving complete stats in return people will be coming to you are asking number of question they will be commenting you your post is getting engaged they are clicking clicking on your link Oh, who you are? Okay, you are a state agent. Okay, just clearly mention if you need any help, have free advice. More than happy to, right? So, if free word always work, free advice. Give the honest advice, right? Uh, in what I have noticed here is where you are fabricating the market scenario and things like that. 
that is not coming, uh, you will lose the client because a client is already doing uh, basically his or her due diligence. A client know what he's doing. He just want to reconfirm whatever he or she is doing is correct or not. Now, if you are saying you putting a you know step on that, guys, your property price is half a million because of X reason, X factor, right? So they are confident and they know what you're saying, they will trust you. I have seen personally number of time. Uh, I normally randomly call any state agent and then ask them, guys, what do you think the value of this property? Three agents, three different things. And all three have very different opinion. I will say one is going way below market value because they want a quick sale. They want to make money. Understood. We are all here to make money, but in genuine way, right? One is on, we'll put on high. For instance, I'm not giving in any particular company name. But uh, start with F, their fees is 2.5%. They will say half a million property. Oh, I can sell your property 650. I have the buyer. Oh, really? Yes, I'm in trap. We are not, do not doing anything. So what we're doing is number one we're doing here is data. We are giving data to the market. You giving. You're receiving what are you receiving? Questions, suggestions, maybe. Right. Uh, if you're receiving questions, you know why this question is coming and who is asking this question. That particular person is my client. One of our uh, guy basically uh, he worked with us. This is what he is doing. And he was super busy during the COVID time when, you know, when 90% market was on hold. He was busy that time and he's super busy now. His December pipeline is, I was chatting with him last, last week. He was in office. Uh, I was, he showed me December pipeline. So, okay, you know what? I think you have, I think five or six agent worth of pipeline in December. What he's doing, giving his, this is the only strategy he's using Facebook, LinkedIn, WhatsApp group. He's just asking, ask free question, property related question, whether it's tenant causing any problem, whether it's uh, landlord causing any problem. If a tenant is complaining about landlord, he's getting landlord link, right? If it's a landlord uh, complaining, then he know what to do, okay. This is what uh, uh, he need to do. So this is the one thing is data. Second thing is you are circulating the same data on Facebook, LinkedIn, Insta, TikTok. Guys, trust me or not, uh, next year, March onwards, we as 19 home uh, completely going out of the board system so we won't be promoting board people are seeing it is it would help we have a different alternate solution but what we will be pushing putting money and pushing is digital digital marketing is the key if i ask you number of people how many times you are now going to going and buying a newspaper i used to buy you know Every Saturday, uh, I used to go and buy the newspaper to see what was happening, all the ads, everything. I can't remember when last time I touched the newspaper. So from print media, it has to complete a digital media because all the news, BBC on your phone, on app, everything is app based. Everything is mobile based nowadays. If you are not mobile friendly, you're going on basically a computer, you're reading everything there. So if you are not changing yourself with consumer behavior. Now, the second thing, very important point is age. Those people born in 90, I'm just saying 100 year, basically. We are currently in 2023. So 1923, 
they are i'm not counting them anything they are maybe one percent they are sitting in bed or somewhere they are client but there is no way you can do anything with them except even more point zero percent so that is completely out of that let's divide it in four category every uh, 50 years then you're talking about 1950 1975 2000 so those people born after 1950 how many how much the tax heavy they are what is the average age now they are 73 year old basically how tax heavy you are you still need newspaper you still studying but what is your situation uh, i'm pretty much sure those 73 year old at least 20 30 percent doesn't know how to operate mobile they are still old boy school so they are still following the old tactics but the percentage of this is 10 percent maybe 15 percent not more than that now you come to this basically 1975 how old they are basically 40 less than 50 years now they are the one they have seen high and low they have seen up and down of having a phone you know dialing phone to iphone 15 basically or android whatever you say galaxy the new phone so they have seen pretty much everything they have seen in terms of the transformation of shopping transformation of all the industry these were the guy they were going to insurance agent they were going to travel agent on every you know a small town now they doing everything online there is no insurance agent on uh, every town it is gone completely online right there is no travel agent every single apart from a few tui or uh, you know uh, uh, it's pretty much online expedia lastminute.com right same thing happening with this industry or they are they have enough data fortunately or unfortunately right move jupla on the market these portals have created uh, you okay it is no brainy game if you have played uh, you know uh, monopoly game or uh, kind of game you can understand what is happening on my street and what is the price of my property now how to validate let's call state agents they will come and they will tell me what is the price so and the figure and the percentage of this is more than 50 percent basically so they are the biggest client here now this those born after 2000 they haven't seen this they, they born in mobile age everything is digital for them and they are good 25 percent i'm not there are a few percent missing which i'm not counting but uh we have to cater these guys we have to think what we are doing this because these guys are already in process they will sync with this the new method as well the most flexible age i would say if the generation if you will ask this generation the born after 2000 if they have uh, old analog phone they will they will have to read a manual how to write how to dial the number actually without reading a manual they won't be able to dial the number but if you will ask those born in after 75 or around this to do some more digital work they can do it they are flexible so considering these facts what you have to target this and this is what consumer behavior is you understand their behavior what they want how they want they are not the one fish and chips uh, you know they are more Mac mcdonald's or burger guys just pay advance get the service and get the things done so we have to make our service like this but everyone needs data everyone need good service the second thing you are doing is writing personal basically if i call bt or if i call uh, let's say any travel agency if i call expedia i don't know anyone in expedia right who i know I'm calling someone, guys, I want to make a ticket to Turkey or Greece for my holiday. Okay, then they are taking all your details. How about if you already know someone in Expedia, say David James, David, I want to go to Turkey. 
please help me. Easy, no waiting. You send an email, he replying you everything. Okay, you know what, Kevin, this is what your tickets coming. These, these are on these dates. If you want flexibility, then this is what happened. You save time, personalize. You're getting the same better service, same company, but better service. What I said, personalize. So you promote yourself as a personalize. That you are a giving personalized service. Now, again, one thing I always tell you do not ignore your friends, family. I don't know, Kevin, if I ask you how many people you have uh, in your uh, mobile phone saved, number saved? Anyone can tell me? Kevin, yeah, well, can tell me how many contacts four, you have in your mobile? Four, five hundred. Four, five hundred. Perfect. You know these four, five hundred contacts can lead you towards more and more business. Look, everyone is after money. Whatever you hold here like this, you hold here like this. End of the day, you holding here. We know financial benefit everyone look we are here for financial benefit not for charity right you sitting here just to gain something why so you can make more money but in the right manner and what is the right manner i have 400 contacts in my mobile four five hundred contacts in my mobile i am writing uh about a you know i'm checking everyone i'm making a whatsapp group which is uh you know no one can see now whatsapp has come out with this kind of thing or I can get in touch just a random hi hello hi hope you well weather is good something you know uh, just wanted to be in touch with you you keeping well my name Kevin uh, Bennett uh, this is state agency right uh, local agent you know so oh okay now hi hello you started hi, hello out of 400 500 maybe 50 would reply hey Kevin thanks all good my friend uh, hope you well. Yes, just uh, if you need any help or anything, I'm more than happy to assist you. Any of your friends or family wants, happy to share even you with you. Guys, a lead is coming. If you go on Facebook or Google, pay per click. When you have 10 clicks, then you convert one lead. And that 10 clicks cost you 50 quid. It's better to give 50 quid to your friends. Right? He will give you more and more business. Or the gentleman giving us lead uh, uh, from he lives in Newton and he just passing uh, one of uh, uh, you know our Puja's number to everyone and first time he just calculated how much money I will get when he got money without asking second time third time fourth time we asking please send your invoice of this please send off invoice of this now he's not asking he just he know that okay there's a trust build He's passing the client, and what we're doing is lead is getting converted. We agree 10%. Sometime we're selling property for 6,000 plus VAT. Now 600 is getting 600 pounds is big amount for someone if he's working in a job. <laughs> sorry, they are not even uh, making money 600 quid uh, per week actually. So if this guy is making two, three grand per month just because of referral, that's not bad, right? If you're doing the same thing, honestly speaking, you will be super busy, super duper busy. So first thing, remember F square. What is F square? Family and friends. These two people very important for you. If you are starting a new business, you want to enter in this, these are the one you tell them, hey guys, write a beautiful uh, message, emotional message, right? The emotional message is, I have taken this challenge. I have left my job on this age, 35. I'm starting my own business. I need your blessing, your help, and your support. My Your support can cost me. I'm happy for that. Out of, I'm telling you, if you're sending to 400 people, 
out of 400, if say 100 people saying, okay, good luck, good wish, 40 people will say, pass your details to someone. 40% people will say, okay, what money I will get if I pass you? That's it, there you go. Tell them, guys, whatever I earn, I will share 10, 20%, whatever you feel is the best, basically. Okay, they are making money. You, you are making money, they are making money. They are happy, you are happy. So this is at this moment, the crunch time. Number one is data. Number two is consumer behavior. You understand the behavior. We are heading towards more and more digital age. Now AI is there. So I know what AI is going to do in this industry. So utilize AI as much as you can, right? Dig the data from AI, right? Go to Google Bard or uh, Chat GPT. Just type, okay, uh, how many properties sold in this area? They will give you the data, right? Otherwise, you can get the data from HMRC sites, right? Right move, Jupla, they can give you the data on the market. So you can get data from any site. So long you present it. If you need some tweaking, if you are not very good in DI, uh, uh, designing a skill, ask my team. They, are, they will give you some template. Just copy, paste, copy, paste, job done. And just post on Facebook. Reply to every single comment. If somebody, some people, especially if I'm a state agent, I'm seeing your post, what I will do? I will degrade you. Oh, that is rubbish. This is not correct. Thank you, Mr. Sir. I appreciate your comments. With love. Okay, because that is public. People are reading. Never ever write anything wrong in publicly. Don't take revenge in publicly. You, if you know someone, that's fine. Let them, you know, if they're trying to defame you or something, they're not defaming you. They're defaming their own. When if when I read someone writing a negative comments on some post, the first thing is the person mentality. Oh, that is, you know, not the right sort of. If I have to complain something. I had another method. We get complaints with very, you know, some people write in very general language. Okay, this is the thing. And some people write write very rudely. So whichever you're doing, just keep yourself calm and carry on kind of thing. The next thing, very important. You know, the way currently WhatsApp group is going on, I don't know if how many of you use WhatsApp or not. But uh, a few of my uh, friends, uh, friends in my colleague use massively. And at least 10 to 15% business they get from WhatsApp. Recommendation, uh, right? You do a good job. You will get recommendation only if you're doing a good job, right? So I'm not saying, uh, you know, you won't make mistake. Everyone makes mistake. Uh, but you try your best to give a, do a good job. If you're doing a good job, WhatsApp is the key component. Somebody asking in X group, uh, we have lots of group. Somebody asking, okay, guys, can you suggest me a carpenter? The guy who worked with me in, with, you know, helping me out in my home, I just send message, okay, guys, this is the person. I speak to him. I have no track how many times people ask, do you know some DIY guy? The guy who helped me, I happily pass his the details. And that's how you gain your business. So if you are part of WhatsApp group, then people can tag you. If you are not, then they may share your contact. But if you are part of the group, you can straight away reply. You know what you have. Number one thing, you have the contact details on WhatsApp. Because when you see the message, you reply back straight away, privately reply. And it means you are directly linked with a potential vendor or landlord. And that's it. Now it is your skill set. When take the best time to speak, whenever they have some time, take the property in details, send them the material. This is one thing again coming to you. You know what? Don't follow what other following. Just be a bit uh, more advanced. Kevin, if I ask you, uh what if you are doing appraisal or something some let's say i'm saying kevin look this is my address i want to sell this property what information you will send me in return uh, 
First of all, I just try and get an appointment, I suppose, um, to come around and, and give you a valuation, a market valuation on your property. But um, at that point of time, I probably wouldn't send much information. Yeah. I'd just say, can I come around and value your house, please? Okay. So what we're doing is, we're doing a booking appointment, we're sending valuation, then sending stats. Right. So valuation, we're using portals or some uh, basically uh, sites. So which means... Uh, 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 right, giving local information which is available on all the portals. So in this situation, in this situation, what else I can add which can help a vendor or landlord to, uh, to you know, to trust me more and win, win more instructions? You know what reference, local reference. You take GDPR consent. Let's say if I'm asking uh, here in uh, a list, uh, the gentleman named Mukesh, I say, Mukesh, can I pass your details to uh, someone uh, if they want uh, my, you know, if they want to ask about my service? You, Mukesh said, yes, that's it, job done. You are, uh, Mukesh is your client, you pass the details. So, okay, now, if you are local, now, there's a one thing, community, always focus on community. Right. If you are whichever religion you belongs to, if you're going to church, you speak. To, I'm not saying to think about business if in while you are praying, but this is one thing people do ask. If you're going to church, you have on Sunday prayers, you chatting, you sharing your business cards or you know digital signature or connecting them. If you are Muslim, you going mosque. If you are Hindu, you going in any festival. I have noticed, especially being as a you know. Asian, there are lots of Asian groups. I go introduce myself and I see, okay, people asking random questions about property. I pass over it to my colleagues. Okay, you know, uh, Komal will help, Puja will help basically, right? So this is, you have to be a tiny bit extrovert for that. If you are in this real estate, there is no extra uh, introvert skill. You have to be extrovert, right? How to spoken. Right, you must have your local or international data. Right, what is happening in the property sector? If I ask you what is happening in the property sector, uh, you ask me the question. I will say 2021, uh, we had almost 900k property sold STC. 2022, week 37, we had almost 800 and no 750 50k. Now, 23, we had 600. That is my data. It's in my head. Why? Because I am reading what is happening in my market. So you must know what is happening in your market. Because when you're doing appraisal, these data helps you. You're telling people, is it really, let's say if I'm going to a client, to, oops, if I'm going to see a client, his property, he's thinking his property is 600K. Right. For me, he is right. His property 600k, but not this time, because three bedroom property, semi detached property, for sale in market for five to five. So if one property is available for this, why would I pay 600k for this? No. Nope. I will tell him. Look, your price is right, but that is 2021. 20, 22 price for 2023 20, it is not the right price do you really have to sell the property yes because i'm moving abroad or whatever the reason family dispute or if they said no i don't have to sell i'm just checking okay you know what give me property for rent i will manage you are getting in income we have a number of uh, uh, you know guys working with us Property came for sale, listed. Two weeks later, uh, okay, we have changed. Uh, ask vendor to we are managing property now. We convince the vendor not to sell. Give us property for that. And what is that in recurring business? Until you have this property, you're getting money uh, month by month if you're managing the property. And this is what we need, right? Sales is one time, but letting is. Uh, month by month or year by year, whichever, if you're managing the property. So make sure your data must be up to date. 
whatsapp group so so key points number one here is uh, i'm mentioning here number one key point is f square your friends and family number two i should say fq basically but i can't say because it's only not talking about facebook then i'm saying social media which include include facebook insta TikTok. Anyone else? LinkedIn. If you use Twitter, you can use it, but uh, very much uh, helpful though. So, so these these are the one your biggest uh, asset in terms of to give you maximum business. Join groups and things. Now, third thing where I'm coming: consumer behavior very important to understand what a consumer want offer them the service what they want all right i'm not saying if they are wrong support them but uh, logically help them fourth networking with now if i'm uh, i'm a state agent uh, i live in Sutton. i should or must know all the people all the you know vendors they're doing epc all doing cp12 all doing risk solution police in the certain area i technically should know i will speak to them offer them okay guys look if i make 100 quid i'm happy to give you 20 quid if you refer me i will refer you when I need CPEPC, I will use your service. If I need CP12, I will use your service. If I need risk valuation, I will use your service. It is both way game, not single way game. So this is something, build the database, LinkedIn, Facebook, just ask on Facebook, uh, on the local group. Guys, I'm looking for any EPC engineer. You have 10, 20 odds people, suggesting 20 years nine name that's your database what how long it took you to get this database just two lines any epc engineer in covering certain or any uh, cp12 now share giving them your contact details asking to get in touch over to you you know what to do now you are smart enough to understand what you can do in terms of how to convince them for they can work with you right ajay james ajay you there yes so if i ask you yeah, you are yeah. if i'm not wrong you are cp you are EP, uh, epc and gas safety guy right Gas safety, yes. So Ga you work with the Ga state agents, Sorry? Do you work with the state agents? No, I work uh, for a company. Okay, but do you, uh, but do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, the those are independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. EPC engineer yeah. or CP12 engineer. That's how they make their business, and that's how state agents uh, build their business. It is not one way; it is both way. They're helping each other. Yes, true. So, so you build your database in your local area and get in touch with these guys and ask them, okay, guys, you know, okay, they might be working with multiple agents. You offer them the best. End of the day, you're gaining a business. Even if you're making 50%, you're gaining something. And the most important thing, one referral is coming to you. Right? Yeah. If you're doing a good job, the person may send, may send you number of uh, basically other clients yes. your facebook page or uh, you know if you have a facebook page because that is the one thing nowadays people look comments take as much as positive reviews from your clients whether it's google whether it's trust pilot or facebook uh, take as many as that builds that will generate leads itself 10% lead, leads come via trust pilot. We, we know 99 gets at least 10% leads. So when I see the traffic coming, 
okay, 17%. And then I see, okay, source of the, okay, this is the trust pilot after reading some reviews. And when they see your name, if I will say, you know, uh, Yogesh or uh, one, basically your, uh, I, saw, I saw your name number of time. Okay, it means you must be very good, right? If I just go somewhere and search some name here, basically, I'm searching Akash name, so I can see at least Akash, 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 Akash. Okay, and now I'm talking to Akash. I already have a trust in Akash. I'm talking to someone know the industry because one person can, uh, you know, fake it. Two person can fake it, but fifty or hundred people can't fake it. If I, you know, this is that's how it's work basically people can see your name and nowadays very easy you will see literally you know you can see number of reviews okay if you go in bottom it will tell you how many pages four pages almost 25 review so 100 plus review basically that can't be wrong and this is what you you need to build and that's how it will uh, you know more business will come to you next one i would say strongly uh, not to uh, target property in market but uh, those there is a way you know when a property get listed in there is a property in market so you will see this property is two month this property is four month this property is six month this property is more than a year something like that rather than this try unsold lot in auction so so you go to auction house or uh, just sold or number of auction companies just see if you can see figure out unsold load around your area easy to sell basically right if you know uh, the vendor if i i see okay this is unsold load in certain i know the property i will knock the door and if i knock the door and they say okay that's i'm okay with that once their contract finish over to you because if a property in, didn't get sold in uh, auction because of this there's a very good chance when with mortgage it can get sold the, the same price i have seen this with a few agents uh, not with 19 home but yes this is work but again if you want to target more than six months for property if a property is not sold six months there is definitely something is um, uh, you know not right kevin you are working in this industry uh, you probably know uh, you know the the most important thing is uh, nowadays the way digital uh, market is working the digital media is working you don't need a massive uh, you know uh, paper print papers basically leaflets you can get the easy database online database and you can easily get from facebook you add them your friend update your contents on your facebook page so if you are a you running a professional company i know i'm running a professional company so what should be my facebook profile looks like now if i'm going to clubbing it is my personal i am entitled to do whatever i like to do but you have to respect oh, what people want to see you drinking smoking and things they say oh no i think is maybe a druggy 
so he stay away he looks everything good but his profile looks uh, you know uh, been a bit inappropriate doesn't sound like he's very much professional where are you commenting what are you saying to people if you're commenting on a post it has to be you know super genuine and super uh, you know uh, elegant basically okay if people someone read then read honestly speaking use technology chat gpt if you want to write something answer of something chat gpt can give you just like that or google bot can give you easily if most of them you have google account and this is free right i am nowadays asking google bot to reply this email and 80% content is written by google bot is correct the only 20% i am making a change so the email i used to write take is to take 10 minute 15 minute it is done and dusted in 3 minutes so update yourself questions guys any questions i'm expecting lots of questions come on guys don't disappoint me Good question. On my, I mean, I'm not, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert on uh, face, Facebook and social all the media platforms. But when I put, um, when I want to post or share things from my business Facebook um, mm -hmm. page, I can't seem to. So far, now I see an alert from Zoopla. So it says <laughs> on the market a castle, 1.5 million in Scotland. I think oh, that's an interesting point. I'll mm -hmm. share that with my friends and colleagues etc etc but mm -hmm. it won't let me share because it's come through on my on my business one so somehow i have to try and get it onto my personal one to share it and it, it all becomes a little bit complicated so i or is that just a case of learning how to do that i'm not i don't seem to be able to cross over between my personal one and my business facebook page okay i think it could be the permissions uh and part part of uh so now you first thing uh you have to there's a two thing on facebook right like first thing number of people uh, should like you if you want to tag someone on your page if they are not like you you can just hashtag them second thing is if you want to publish something your uh, business page to any group you have to be part of that group from that page so sometimes yeah. when you're doing it you think you are part of a group, but you are not. So login, I am. I can give you, you know, a, a 10, 15 minute session. Uh, you share your screen and I will tell you what to do, where to do, where to go and how to do it. That is, you know, super easy for me. But mm -hmm. you make sure from your page, you like all the groups and all the. You can't, of course, post on someone else's page. You can only post in groups and subject to their permission structure. Uh, I would suggest to you, to when you see a book big groups always make admin your friend first thing whenever you go to join any group you see who is the admin there's three admin send them friend request okay so which would have help they know you they are on your friend okay if they're friend if you're messaging them easy direct message if they are not friend they're messaging you 50 percent chance it will go in junk okay right to avoid that whenever you're on facebook add all the admins right you have five the limit of five thousand people on your facebook page i used to do it and anyone sending me friend request back in 2012 or 2013 i used to accept but now i don't i only accept friend request either i know them yes or if i don't know them they are related to the business in terms of they are in property or something similar kind of business right or they i can see there's a value they're living in wellington they're living in Sutton, so they can see my post if i'm targeting Sutton, so they know what i'm doing if your five thousand is done you keep that page as it is open the new one basically so you know kevin bennett one kevin bennett two job done and i'm telling you if you sending uh, passing broadcasting your information 
on Facebook. It is very easy peasy. People out of 10,000 people, 15,000 people, they will, some will notice. Some will ping, okay, I'm thinking to sell. What can I do? If you putting, you know, uh, regardless uh, the content about Christmas, about Holy, Diwali, Eid, you know, people will be, so, okay, you know what, seems a good job, good guy. Okay, let's follow him, support him, give him business because he's the one man we feel like, okay, he's very transparent and very <clears throat> humble and, you know, respecting everyone. So, so your content on business page must be business related only. Other questions, guys? There's a question on the chat. Yeah, on the hi. Chat. Let me go and see. Hi, Vijay. Sierra Can Vendor. I, being a mom and a homemaker, start a state agency from home with you? What do I need to do and how you will help me? Okay. There is no restriction. Uh, being a mom and homemaker, it is easy. State agency has significantly changed now. Right. We are heading towards uh, a, a state agency is convert, converting into uh, technology nowadays. Right. So go on the, the days when we were hunting people, printing newspaper leaflets. Everything is digital. So definitely you can run your state agency from home so long you have a networking skill. You can chat, you know, talk to people. You can nowadays WhatsApp, Facebook, the easy media, LinkedIn. So there is no restriction as such. Of course, is the easiest way to start your state agency without investing anything. Yes, I think. Uh, uh, Vijay, can I yes. ask? Yes, yeah, so yeah, so I basically want to know, like, uh, I see the 99 home website, and now yeah. I, I'm just wondering, like, uh, if if the client customer do ask, like, okay, I'm looking for renting a property, mm -hmm. do you have any properties available on your site, or you have? So, means when I search 99 home, it 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 only says all the packages in all the section, like for letting, management, uh, rent, uh, sell. So, is it what? we have to go for like because no no yeah. no no, no. Uh, you are not selling 19 home you are okay, selling, right. selling local agent basically selling gla gla yeah. works on percentage right 19 home is not giving you the service you want right 19 okay. home is a diy platform kind of where uh, if you're doing something yourself that's a different thing if you want my personalized service I will charge a, a good amount which can fulfill my living, right? For 1%, 2%, whatever the amount is. Mm. For 300K property, I'm charging 1%, basically, which means 3,000 pounds. So I'm not, that is service is not for you. So don't get confused. You're working on GLA. I, uh, yeah, I got, yeah, I got. Yeah, I got. Basically, so it won't show you 19 home. It will show you uh basically gla here so if you see local agents there's no 99 home here right uh, so ignore that is okay. completely a different thing uh, for you it is 100 okay. percent local agent and yeah. your fees is you if you want to go fix fees is perfectly fine but you we what we prefer to be on commission no means basically what i want to know because i have the login for 99 home that's so what what i need to do with that means if i if, if i don't have to promote 99 home or if client says like do you have properties available to rent i want well, to rent the property number one just in case tenant so, asking right if tenant uh, is asking te tenant or whoever yeah, you yes. can say client or so, customer so, so yes. are we earning from tenants no so no. if you have property for rent you just search on the <laughs> database, right? You okay. don't go 19 home, you go on right or Jupla or 19 home website either. All oh, right. right, okay. Just search the postcode. If we have any property, see who, who owns the property. Speak to the IoT member, okay, who owns this property? I have a potential tenant for this, right? So okay. if, let's say, if the property is with, uh, uh, let's say, Yogesh, and, uh, you mm -hmm. know, so Yogesh, I have a tenant with me, 
uh, what is the situation? Oh, I'm looking the tenant. Okay, if I introduce the tenant, would I get anything? Perfectly, you split the commission, whatever you and Yogesh agree, basically. So it okay. is purely this method. Otherwise, tenant is not paying us anything. Who is paying us? Landlord, vendors, Landlord. right? So, so we have to cater them. They would not go for this. They, you are the one for them. You are the face, right? Okay. Whatever advice you uh, are giving them, yeah. they will trust on your advice. They won't be looking oh, which portal you are listing my property. They're trusting you. Okay, you are the one from local mm -hmm. agent. You will you will sell my property because you have X number of buyers basically. So is it basically you mean like uh, I have to source from third party like as you say like right move Zoopla and stuff. And no, then so, I have to provide the client that okay, this is the property is on rent. No, 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 no. Look, again, maybe I'm getting confused. I rent is asking Sorry. for the property. Technically, their job, hunting uh, property, hunting job, they are putting in your basket. What what you will get from uh, basically what amount uh, you will get from a tenant? Nothing. You are providing okay. service to landlord and vendors, right? Right. Right. Landlord okay. is go to your dashboard. So you can manage your property, okay. right? Not for to help uh, uh, tenants. You, I'm, you, I'm, I'm not saying don't help them. Help them, but yeah. in a limit. Okay. Right. If somebody saying, okay, I'm sitting back. Find me a property. Okay, sure. What I will get? I'm spending my time and money on that, right? If I already have property, so your focus should be more hunting property. Tenant will come when we list a property. When we list a property on uh, portals, tenant right. will automatically come or, or buyers will come. The only one yeah. person who won't come is landlord and vendor. This is okay. what we need to look for. So you know the all the Facebook and everything I have mentioned you, it is to target vendors and landlords. All right. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. Can, cool. I, can, I, can I just interrupt there on that point? Oh, yes, um, Kevin. It's, it's, it's an interesting point, though. Moving forward with the business, um, yeah. it might be nice to one day have um, a G Mobile um, website that you That's could right, yeah. to, when, you're, when you're actually talking to clients and say that we do list all that. I mean, it'd be a sim pretty simple thing from you guys to actually share between Super, Right Move, whole lot, to have a link to your own website, to have all our properties on there. And just it just cement the whole. Um, we're part of the G Mobile network when you're talking to clients and stuff. Just a point. I'm just just um, pointing that across. Anyway, uh, Kevin, thanks very much. Uh, our tech team is already working. This is in pipeline. Okay. So uh, there's a few more changes coming. Uh, we are working with some international agents as well. So well, okay. what does it mean? Now let's say Kevin is co covering Southampton. Now uh, some person living in Switzerland. Got a property in Southampton. He wants to sell. So now the guy sitting in South, uh, you know, uh, staying in Switzerland, he got Kevin directly. The lead is coming to Kevin from any country. Right. So this is what we are doing to get you more into business, generate more leads. This is the point I wanted to introduce maybe next meeting. Okay, guys, the system we have developed now. So clearly your page, what area you covering, what postcode are you covering, your, uh, you know, pricing and everything has to be crystal clear. So if someone is looking state agent in uh, Coventry, whoever is co covering Coventry, directly, we don't want, it is no involvement from us. A client is directly coming on our page, filling the forms, sending the information to you and setting a meet meeting with you. So this is, we are targeting more UK client as well as international client and targeting more international state agents network. So if you have a client basically uh, living in Southampton and has got property in Turkey, wants to sell a property in Turkey, Kevin, I want to sell my property in Turkey. Okay, don't worry, I have the agent. Agent is on our website, you speak in the agent. Dude, what is the commission? Turkey commission is 3% or 4%. A 50 split would go. Yes, we'll go. Let's crack on. Here's the client. This is the property. Sell it. So this is what we are going to introduce very soon. Okay. Cool. Next question, guys. Hi, Vijay. It's uh, Johan here. Hi, Johan. 
Um, earlier, you, you were speaking about valuations, and I think you had um, pointed to some data that you were looking at. Um, mm -hmm. My question is, is whether you use any tools uh, when doing valuations, or is there any tools we should be using to sort of verify the valuation numbers that we would come up with? Okay, look, if I go for a tool, uh, that tool won't make a big difference. Uh, you know what? You can always you can always get some reference, but uh, let's let me go to one tool. Uh, let me go to Wellpal. Enter a postcode. So I'm just putting a postcode of one of the property. Find address. Let's say number. <clears throat> That's number nine. Number of bedroom, say three. Property type is a terraced house. Type of valuation, sales and letting. Submit. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, sales valuation, minimum valuation 394, average valuation 437, maximum valuation 481. This is the letting. Now, go to right. this page. Just Google it. You will see here. Now, number 11 sold 2022 right 367 last year almost one year number nine sold for 385 what figure i'm getting here three minimum let's say average there's no way you can target 437 right look at there the most recent 2021 350 the 2021 market was good yeah the current market is mm -hmm. down so i would reckon 340 now it's in current scenario so this is what is yeah happening. i mean i i'm usually doing it this way meaning i'm using right move and then looking at the sold data correct um to get to get the previous um history so so that's what i'm using but yeah, yeah. i just wanted to to know if there's any other <clears throat> tools you use to to verify the prices in terms of sold history etc the best thing is what is happening around around in an area you're just going you know okay a minimum bedroom is three yeah. bedroom maximum is three bedroom property type is house include sorry i forgot to include that yeah uh, within a quarter mile see what else is on the market what is coming right if i filter it show me sold stc okay yeah. there's a two result is coming okay i know 550 this property now look at this is property very good property when this property came in market was <coughs> 625 <coughs> right <coughs> sold now for five 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 but you see the market 2022 this property was in market by a different state agent uh, for 625 then march state agent change where are you seeing that the state agent change again so this is what I'm telling you now this is what is, is, is it terrorist no it's not terrorist this is a terrorist half a million basically sold so you're taking digging the data according to accordingly basically seeing them uh, this one is it a terrorist no it is, it is a terrorist but it is a machinery so mm -hmm. i know because uh, this is one of my uh, rented property i own one of the property yeah so so the rent the rent here again if you look the rental valuation for three bedroom property around this area when wellington boys school down the land uh, 
this is the price I'm looking for rent. Uh, this property, uh, this one is let agreed last year for 1800 pounds. Oh, sorry. So, so here again, not the accurate figure. So you you judge, you take the data. Okay, what they're saying, but add it accordingly. Yeah. This is does, uh, does, does right move plus give you any additional um, sold history? other than what's normally on on right move well it is pretty much is everything is here uh, it can it can give you some information uh, you know uh, it can generate some reports but uh, uh, pretty much what is happening you know it will easily you just punch the post road it will tell you what is happening on this road yeah okay. jupla is the same thing there is a few benefit of jupla because jupla give you some extra mile information on some property okay this is what it is, uh, you know. Uh, uh, let's say for this one, I don't think so. Right now, is giving all that information. Yeah, it's, they are giving now broadband is free, property sales history. Now they are giving, but Jupla has, uh, you know, a better uh, view, in my opinion. Yeah, okay, thanks. Next question, guys. No questions? Cool. Uh, if anyone needs help with Facebook in terms of you want to know, uh, you know, you having issue, just book a session with me. Uh, I'm more than happy to have one-to-one -one session. So, uh, uh, you know, you can come. I am more than happy to share some more insights. How, if I was you, if I own your page, what, uh, where I will go and what I will do. Uh, Vijay, I just want to ask, like, yeah, I do want one on one session, but not only for Facebook, the, the basic model I want to know as, That's it, fine. as I, uh, as I, uh, as I uh, ask you a few questions, because I'm still not clear about it. So is it uh, okay That's to be fine? Niyati will book for you next week. So okay. uh, Niyati ma'am, please, if you can book a question for next week, that will be uh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. I'll just email Chandan about it. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks. Uh, Vijay, I just wanted to check one thing. Are we doing commercial properties as well or just residential? Tejal, when you say what we're doing, one thing I wanted to explain you here. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> uh, we, as a, uh, let me clear this again, start a new one. There's a state agency, you know, uh, high street shop, basically. We as 99 Home Limited is a marketplace. 99home.co.uk just sold GLA. So the all three division have different segment, but for you, these two are important. Sales let management auction for residential and commercial both on top of that litigation uh, legal uh, financial insurance whatever you need we have all the resources available they are not in-house but they work like in-house Okay, thank you. And even though I choose letting, then I can still manage my own properties, right? Um, I work, yeah. I'm working with some investor, I'm managing their properties. That That is fine, right? That's perfectly fine. You can manage your own property. Look, property management is headache. If you are, are happy to take full headache, please go on. This is the full permission from us. You winning a business, you want to manage property, you keep all money with you. But if you want me to help, it is split. 60 40 you keep 60 we keep 40 because we are managing almost 500 plus properties with 19 home.co.uk and i know day in day out the headache our biggest <laughs> team is in management basically so sometime uh, uh, i know you guys are if you are managing property uh, you get massive crap so honestly speaking 
if you want to manage full property yourself go for it no obligation for us and if you need help more than happy to help you on that side as well sure thank you i just wanted to check some of them i'm already managing so uh, does that's it affect perfectly our contract? Fine. okay that's perfectly fine thank you anyone else no more question no question okay yeah if you have any question please feel free to email us on gla at uh, uh, 99.co.uk or join at local agents uh, or you can call Niyati on 0208244735. Niyati, ma'am, please book uh, the one-to-one -one session with uh, whoever wants any help with anything, Facebook, digital marketing, PPC, or link sure. building, anything. Perfect, guys. I'm Thank just dropping much. my email in the chat box. Please feel free to email me. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Bye for now. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye.